Welcome back guys, GVids here. Today we're going to be going over if these rigs, so-called rigs, whatever, actually work or if they catch more fish than just casting out a hook and wait. So I want to go over quickly if we're going to make any difference at all. Uh, tonight uh, I'm going to quickly cut to a different clip here since my shitty camera didn't actually catch what I was trying to show you. I want to show you the rig that we're using. Um, it is just a plain O sinker weight up the top here. Uh, so I use this. I just have a little split shot and then a bobber stopper just to kind of help that out. Um, I use a, I think it's a 40 ounce. I can't even fully remember. It might not be that strong. Um, but it's just a teardrop weight. And then we go down. We have some floats and a four odd circle hook. Now these rigs range from all different types of things. Some with rattles, some with floats. Uh, mainly the idea is we want to have the uh, bait slightly suspended off the ground uh, so it's more in a strike zone is what they say. So I do want to find out if that's actually true. That rod number two just has a plain old sinker, sinker weight on it and the same hook we're using the same bait which is going to be chicken liver so soaked in uh, Kool-Aid, cherry Kool-Aid, really doesn't make a difference though. Um, but we are using the same bait on each rod. We don't have any leaders on. I personally am not a big fan of leaders, um, at least not for catfish. They're not a picky fish, um, personally. Now you can use a leader. If you are gonna be using a leader, just make sure that you do you uh, a lot of due diligence on it. You make sure that you do check out the leaders after each catch or every few catches, um, just to find flares and stuff like that. But let's get these rods out and see which one's gonna bite first. Holy shit, oh, we got a nice fighter on rod one. This is the rod with the rig. Oh, man, she is a good fighter. Let's get this girl in here. And just, uh, we're going to give this one a quick weigh. Just see what it's going to weigh out. Um, oh, get her in here, girl. But as you see there, this is the one with the slight rig. Um, what I'm using is just some floats, uh, two yellow float beads with two yellow or two uh, citrus or pink beads, um, which are just floating beads. And then I have another like it's called a peg float, I do believe, um, which is going to be in the middle. And then two obviously bobber stoppers to hold everything together. Uh, everything I purchased was off of Team U or Amazon. I got everything which is a whole bunch of stuff like uh, the containers came with hundreds of beads um, same with the bobber stoppers the weights everything came in quite a large amounts and uh, I got them all for around $25 off of Team U and Amazon separated uh, actually I would probably say everything was from uh, Team U besides my hooks I got from Amazon um, actually this set was an actually gift from my dad um, which are Berkeley uh, fusions, I do believe, uh, four odd hooks there, uh, circle hooks. And uh, yeah, so, so far we got a nice size fish off the one with the rig. Absolutely awesome. I'm just going to cut out the whole weighing thing here, guys, just so we can move along. But it was about eight pounds just under now we got another fish on holy shit this is again rod one we haven't even had a bite on rod two over there it has been very silent uh now there's probably been about an hour separation in between each fish so far oh but this is another nice fish now we're just getting over a really hot uh heat wave and tonight uh, it is actually slightly on the cooler side let's get this girl in here another beautiful fish absolutely amazing and again on the rigged up rod uh, so far so good now I was really wanting to test this out obviously fishing guys there is a huge market to it a um, million dollar market of course uh, so every company, every person out there selling their rigs, TikTokers, whatever, they always want to say theirs is the best, it's going to catch the most fish, and so on and so on. I've always just kind of ignored the rigs and just use the old sinker weight, and I've always caught fish from it. 
but today I did want to test out the two and so far the fish have seemed to be going to the one with the rig. Now this is not nothing rattling on mine and these are just simply floats. Um, now you can add like kind of like a minnow shape, a pencil lure almost without any hooks. Um, and they also float but they have rattles within them. Um, I like to have mine maybe about two to two and a half inches away from my hook. Um, but again, that's all kind of personal preference. This son of a bitch doesn't want to come out of there. Let's get you up right here. Get you all, she's all tangled up. That's probably a good start. Ay, caramba. Um, but yeah, guys, like I was saying, holy shnikes, we got the hook out, but she's rolling on us. All right, let's, I'm just going to take a quick pick here, guys. I'd like to document my fish, of course. Unraveler. This would actually be a nice little eaten size, but uh, I like to throw my fish back for the most part, keep them every once and again. Um, but uh, let's uh, see what we got going on here, guys. Oh shit, I, this is just a small little rod I got going on. Just with a worm. Something was moving over here. I wasn't sure if it was a small rod, big rod. Uh, I think it's actually the small rod. I'm trying to catch some bullhead so I can uh, actually bring them home to eat and I think it's you know I don't even know what freaking rod it is oh shit yeah it is a small rod perfect yeah we got a fish on nice all right guys this is not part of the contest here or the competition or the um, comparison or whatever but this is just a rod that I keep going on when I'm bored and we got a nice little bullhead here absolutely holy shit oh yeah we got a fish on holy shit absolutely amazing this is fish three three to zero guys holy shit absolutely awesome this thing is going all over the place holy shnikes um so yeah guys you don't need to spend a lot of money on these rigs um i would personally say make them on your own um i looked online you can buy these rigs for like ten ten dollars for maybe like six little sets and I wouldn't even suggest them even using those sets because you never can trust those either knots or hooks or whatever it may be. Um, most of them are mass produced. Um, so you just, I would say just buy the pieces. You can either go online, look up catfish rigs and either copy them yourselves and just go buy the single pieces. For one, when you buy the single pieces, you get a lot more in the kit. Uh, just for the beads myself, I got over a hundred beads and uh, and same with the floats, I think I paid like $2 and I got like 20 beads, or 20 floats I mean, sorry. Uh, and it's just a lot easier, you can make them up yourself. The bobber stoppers, again, were only a few dollars and you get quite a few, like a hundred of them. Uh, so it's really easy to make. Maybe one day I'll make a quick tutorial on exactly how to rig up the line, but it is fairly easy. Um, obviously, you're going to want to weight your weight first and then something to stop your weight from moving. Um, depending on the weight setup you're using, I like this, uh, the, I don't even really realize it's called, I call it a slip-on weight because you kind of slip on the attachment. And then you can clip on different size weights according to the current that you're using. Um, that way I kind of like that way. It kind of gives you more range instead of tying a weight. And holy shit, what's going on here? No, uh, I just knocked her over. All right, we got a lot going on here, guys. <laughs> That's all right. I love fishing at night. It's a great time. That little guy is going to come home with me. And uh, this big guy here, she's going to go back in the water. So let's get her unhooked here. Uh, so, so far, guys, I'm going to say uh, the rigs are definitely helping out. Um, I wouldn't go out and spend a ton of money on them. I would personally just go and buy, uh, find all the pieces yourself, either on TeamU, Amazon, whatever it may be. Uh, purchase the little kits that come with a whole different range of colors. That way you can r change up the kit as much as you want. Uh, you don't have to be stuck with the same rig as what the, whatever company or person you bought it from. Uh, so that way you can kind of make up your own. Honestly, I don't think the colors are too big on um, what's going to help you out. I, uh, I have lime also in my uh, package, but I didn't use that color. I am going to try out a different rig down the road. I'm going to just try out a whole bunch of different colors. Um, the more floats you want or the less. If you're using a really heavy bait, obviously you could throw on some more floats. I don't really use a whole lot of um, weight. The chicken liver, 
uh, has a little bit of weight on it, but uh, it's really not too bad. It's not like you're using a big piece of uh, cut bait or something like that. But anyways, guys, let's just get a quick picture here. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you found this somewhat helpful. If you did, make sure you do share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys, and I'll catch you later. Peace.